Hi, and thanks for watching The Techie Coach. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to turn a Google slide presentation into a scrolling banner that you can use on a Google site. It's pretty simple to do, and it doesn't take much time. Um, so what you want to do is you want to open up a blank Google Slides presentation, and we're going to go to the File menu and go to Page Setup. The first thing that you'll want to do here is change this from a standard 4 to 3 ratio and choose Custom. Now what I'm going to do is, since I want this to be a banner, I'm going to leave it 10 inches wide, but I'm going to change the height to 1 inch. And so that makes a thin banner that goes across. And I'm going to take out some of the text boxes here and just leave this one text box right here. And so you could put any message that you want to in here. I'm going to put in um, reminder, uh, final exam is Friday. And set that up with some red letters. Change the font a little bit. You can do anything that you want to here. I'm just kind of changing it up a little bit. And then the next piece that you're going to do is we need to animate this so that it comes in from the right and scrolls out to the left. So to do that, we're going to click on the transition button at the top and go to add animation. Okay. But before you can add animation, we do have to select our text box, click add animation, and then we're going to choose to fly in from right with previous and that means that as soon as this slide starts it will fly in from the right and we're going to slow that down and then we'll add another animation to fly out to left after previous and then we'll slow that down okay so we've got our animation the way we want it to look you might want to test that out by clicking play and so there that's what it's going to look like when the banner is all set up so we'll stop that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make copies of this slide. And I'm going to just go up here and click on the slide in the slide sorter at the left. And I'm going to copy it. You can just do a control C to copy that. And then I'm going to paste it using control V. I'm going to put that in there about 10 or 12 times. And then we're just going to leave it like that. Now, in order to get this slideshow to set up on this Google site, I'm going to publish this to the web. Now, if you've never done publish to the web, basically what it does is it turns your slideshow into something that is either an embed code that you can put on a website or a link that you can share with someone, and it automatically launches the slideshow as you want it to be presented in, say, for instance, like kiosk mode. So I'll go to File, Publish to the Web, and I'm going to choose to do an embed. I'll click Start Slideshow as soon as possible and then Restart. And I'm going to make this launch every second. Okay, and I've already done Start Publishing on this, so it's already set up. So all I have to do now is click on the embed code, copy it. I'll go up to my Google site, double click and choose Embed choose the embed code option and paste my code into the box click next shows me a preview and that's about what I expect it to do so I'll click insert and at this point all I have to do is just resize this a little bit and we can choose to center it up a little bit by just closing this in and adjusting it in the frame we may want to put that between these two elements and then center it and there you go so now when I preview this part of the website this is what it's going to look like in full screen mode and so I'll have my banner scrolling and if you choose to have your site show up on Google Chrome sign builder uh, you can set your site to refresh every so many minutes or so so that your banner has a chance to refresh um, but since the slideshow will restart itself at the end of the slides, it should be able to reset itself just fine. I've used this scrolling banner on several different websites and different uh, signs using Chrome Sign Builder, and it works great. Hopefully this is good for you, uh, for your classroom. Uh, maybe you can use it when you put out messages for your students each week, just to remind them of different things, or maybe to just put parent notifications in a little scrolling banner. 
Well, again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.